The idea that mutations are considered the engines of evolution has only one problem. There's no evidence to support it. Um, as far as we know, and that's a considerable problem, not an overwhelming problem for a scientific theory. There are plenty of scientific theories that lasted a long time with absolutely no evidence. Um, but the idea that, that mutations are the driving force encounters a fatal difficulties. Almost all mutations are deleterious. Almost all of them do the organism absolutely no good. In fact, we have a devilishly hard time finding any mutations that do the organism any good whatsoever. That's one problem. The second problem is that by now, we should be um, attentive enough to look for uh, contrived circumstances in which we can test this idea that mutations, by definition random, by definition random, um, work as the engine of evolution. What we have are a variety of lifelike systems, books for example, or computer, uh, computer codes. And what we know is that unless we do a lot of careful stage management, arbitrary events in either books or computer codes tend to screw the code of the book up irreparably. Now there's a, a large question here. If I take a copy of Windows um, 2000 XP and I start introducing random changes, uh, within a very short while, the code will crash. The whole system will be useless. Why exactly is this not happening in living systems? I, I don't want a lot of hand-waving in response. I want a, a precise quantitative answer. Living systems don't experience catastrophic failure under random mutations because. And if you know, tell me. I'll take your call day or night.